three very, very strange online jobs. And I have one week to complete them and earn as much money as possible. Now, as you know, I've lost a lot of money recently. And today I'm actually gonna try and change that if that's actually possible. <laughs> I don't really think it is. <laughs> yes, as you can tell, I'm getting very desperate. But I am putting myself to this challenge and I'm actually extremely scared. But I hope at the end of the week we can at least see a decent amount of profit. If not, I may just give up on this channel. <laughs> Surveys online are a scam. And I'm sure you guys want to know if they're real or if they're fake. I think that they're fake, but they may be real. So we've taken it in our own hands and we're going to be working for eight hours straight. A nine to five job, pretty much. Now we found a website called Swag Bucks. And the way the money system works is basically for every hundred swag bucks, it equals one dollar. And there's multiple ways where you can earn quick swag bucks by completing unrealistic short surveys. For instance, this is a survey where you earn five swag bucks and it takes three minutes to complete the survey. What is your gender? Male. What is your age? 20. I am pregnant expecting a child within the next nine months. I, I didn't know about this. I thought I was supposed to know if I was falling pregnant. Come on. Woo! Okay, so it is real. We've earned five swag bucks. And another long, torturous way of earning swag bucks is to play or open random games. Now, for example, this is one of the games where if you reach level 17, you receive 89 swag bucks box which is 89 cents. I'm really gonna go all out and try and earn as much swag bucks slash money as possible for today. I really want to go for $80 so I'm gonna work my ass off and if this works it works. If it doesn't I don't care it's a fail. Four hours in and so far it's been nothing short of a horror show. This has been absolutely terrifyingly disgusting, mate. <laughs> you want to hear the great amount of money that I've earned? I earned a total of 41 swag bucks, which is 41 cents. That's about as good as those scam surveys are. So we have to go to plan B and that's to waste my time on games that completely suck. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that ended up going for longer than four hours and longer than I anticipated. Yeah, I actually sat here for an extra eight hours. After downloading around seven games and finishing all the tasks I needed, we actually made 840 swag bucks, which is $8.40. And to earn extra swag bucks, I actually purchased in-game things off this Donald Trump app that I had. Yeah, it was $2.99. So technically, I'm a cheater. Absolutely atrocious. Woo! Okay, day two and I'm already starting to feel a lot richer. In reality, $8.40 up. You know, I'm happy with that though. But it's time to step things up. We're not joking around around this right now. <laughs> now, if you guys don't know what that app Fiverr is, basically it's for freelancers where you can earn a quick buck and post up any random gig and earn money from it. It's actually quite simple. They pay money and you give them the service. So I wanted to post something very eye-catching so that people can come and pay some money. So basically they're going to be paying me $5 for my gig to pretty much say whatever they want and go to whatever location they want. If you want me to tickle your hair, I'm gonna tickle your hair. If you want me to scratch your face, I'm gonna scratch your face. If you want me to massage your foot, I'll massage your foot. Send me $5 and I'll do those things for you. <laughs> so I did what I normally do and that's cheap by posting on Twitter and Instagram for you guys to purchase a gig in hopes to making more sales. <laughs> so yeah, the gig is listed up and I'm gonna give it 24 hours to see how many sales I make. I will see you in 24 hours. Okay, so it's been 24 hours and I want to know how many sales I've made. Oh, oh, okay, okay. We've made four sales, which is a total of $25. And we actually only have five hours to complete these tasks. Otherwise, we get no money. All right, so we're going into the first order. Let's hope there's a good task ahead for me and not something completely stupid. Oh, okay, what the heck is this? My request is to travel to your friend's house. Ask his friend if he has an innie or Audi belly button. You both respond with what you think you have and discuss together what the other okay no what i know what i can do though is it an innie or an Audi? what is it because i ain't got no idea what that is i really want to know why someone wants to know if i have an innie or an Audi belly button i don't even know why you're asking what the heck is that second order let's have a look let's go to a mall or busy area and try to start conversations with people about investing in stock market and see what they know i promise you this is just coincidence and i'm not stalking but there is a test Tesla 
car right across from where I parked. And I'm gonna be waiting here for as long as possible. Wow, me the dumbass puts my head down for 20 seconds and the dude is gone. And the Tesla is gone. All right, looks like we're off to the next plan. Did you end up um, investing in that stock that I told you to invest in yesterday? Because it went up 300% yesterday and I told you to sell your car to get in the stock market. Do you remember me from yesterday? No. Oh, you don't remember me? Wait, what? No, because the stock went up 200%, so you would have made, you know, whatever this car's worth, double. Okay. No. Nah, what about Tesla? Now the third one. I want you to add me back on Snapchat so we can chat. All right, well, it looks like I'm gonna have to say that exact line. Hey, Katie, what's up? I'm kind of locked in my boot right now and I can't get out. So I'm recording this and yes, I will add you on Snapchat. And there we go. Thank you very much. Now for the last and final order. I'm sorry, but that line looks like gibberish. Apparently I'm supposed to say this in a British accent. God blind me, bro. The girl at pool last night was absolutely bollocks. Yeah, she was fit bed. <laughs> Absolutely rubbish, man. Ooh, okay, even though Fiverr is quite strange, it can be also a good source of revenue if you are doing this full time and you're talented. Unlike me, we made $25, so it brings our total to $33.40. Now on to the third one. Renting my car. And that's exactly what I did. So I went ahead and took multiple photos of my car and listed it on a couple of platforms. One of them being Car Next Door and you know the normal Facebook Marketplace. I'm listing it for a price of $50 for either half a day or a full day. I really don't think anyone's gonna rent this out or contact me, but if they do, this will be sick. So currently we've had three people message me about the car and we are going to be renting it out to them. But first, we actually have to make an agreement. Now this is going to state that if you wreck my car or smash my car, I'm going to whoop your ass. It's not even a joke, it's going to be put in there. We then printed out this whoop your ass agreement and waited 24 hours for our first customer to come. Alright, so lady number one is here to pick up my car. I'm, <laughs> I'm super nervous. I don't even think I want to do this anymore, but I have to do it. Hello, Rosita, how are you? You're here for the car? Yes. So you're gonna get it for half a day or a full day? I think I'll do a full day. Okay, <laughs> I actually have a car agreement for you where you have to sign over here. The bond fee is gonna be $300 and you're gonna be charged $50 just to actually drive the car. That's okay. If you wanna read through it, you can read through it. That's up to you. She then went ahead and signed the ass whooping agreement and then it was time for me to show her the car. All right, so obviously this is it. You can take the keys. You know, put the key into there, hold the brake down. Turn it on. You can just put those down. What time would you like me to bring it back? If you can bring it back just the same time tomorrow, that would be great. Right. Yeah? Okay. All right, thank you so much. I'll see you tomorrow. Let's hope she doesn't crash so far so good. So how slow? How slow is she driving? Hey, we've made $50. I'll take it. So it's actually three hours earlier than when she was supposed to drop it off. So I'm actually surprised and I'm happy with it. And now it was time to check the inside of the car. So far, so good. The back looks kind of decent, but I'm very curious to see what the front looks like. Looking kind of good. This is all my mess a bit down there. Over here is pretty good, you know, same crap. And okay, yeah. What is not on you? Okay, so according to the agreement, she gets a full refund on her bond payment. She didn't leave my car like a pigsty, so she gets her money back. So I'm gonna go and message Rosita and say, hello, thanks for leaving the water bottle. Thanks for your service, you veteran. <laughs> Well, I don't know why I'm finding that funny. So we actually have a car lined up for tomorrow and I don't like to judge the book by its cover. Like, I'm super scared to rent the car out to this guy. That's as simple as I'm saying it. Hey, Suyash, how are you, man? Are you here to pick up the car, yeah? Yeah, I'm here to pick up the car. So wait, did you want it for half a day or a full day? Uh, I'm only gonna need it for half a day. Half a day? Yeah, so what, 3 p.m. tomorrow you can drop it off, yeah? Yeah, 3 p.m. Yeah? Alright, sweet. So little does he know, he just signed the ass whooping agreement. He also gave me his license, made the payment to my bank account, and then he wanted to go check out the car, and he kind of made it a bit difficult. Make sure everything there, because yeah. I want to bring the car back, and you'll say I did. No, nah, no, nah, it's fine, but I took photos of it anyway, so it should be fine. But yeah, put the key in, and then hold the brake down. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, yes. Tw keep twisting. Oh, That's it. Oh, okay. Thank you, Pete. I'll see you tomorrow. He's off. <laughs> you know, he's actually driving respectively so far. We've just secured another $50. And let's just hope he doesn't bring it back. Absolutely terrible. If he wrecks it, I'll take the $300 off. 
All right, so it's the next day, and this dude dropped my car off at around 4.30 p.m., so one hour after the time that I told him to drop it off. And you don't want to see how this guy parked. Look at how he parked on my grass. I don't want to open this up. But we got to do what we got to do, and we have to open this and see what he's done inside so we can steal his money. All right, all right, wait, okay, okay. The inside's kind of all right. Unless he's doing some, like, you know, intercourse in the back, why the hell would there be any mess at the back? Now, I'm facing towards the window because I don't want to see the front. Okay, so already... There is a cup there, and it looks like McDonald's. No way. What? There's another cup on that side as well. And there's a half empty, you know, coffee cup. What the f***, man? This dude's had every drink on the menu from McDonald's and left it in my car. If you look into here, that's all absolutely my stuff, and yeah, you don't really want to see that. And this is the glove box, which, yeah, you know, cause, wait, what? I am serious. I have not put this stuff in here. What is this guy doing? I'm actually very curious. Is he hiding anything else in this car? The boot, I don't think has anything. <laughs> Under Underneath this thing, I don't think there's anything under that. Underneath this thing, no, nope, nothing under that. Underneath here. Wait, nah. This honestly looks like a setup. I have not done this. I don't even want to touch this. That, that's actually disgusting. That's badly disgusting. I really don't want to open this because I'm thinking if there's food in there or anything. Okay, and it kind of looks, yeah, nah, I'm not touching that. I'm definitely not touching that food. All right, and since the dude cannot park my car to save himself, I had to correct his mistake by reparking it. And then I went ahead and cleaned up all of his mess that he made in my car. And don't you worry, I gave him a good roasting in the messenger. Hey, Suyash. I happen to notice all the mess you left in my car. There is a $100 bond fee for returning my car back dirty. Try it and get your cleaning habits right. <laughs> I could be taking this guy's money, but I'm really not gonna do that. I know he's rented it out and it's in the agreement. I'm simply just not like that. I just want him to learn from the experience and to be able to clean more properly in the future. And after that diabolical performance, I am not gonna rent my car out ever again. And after working three different weird online jobs, I earned a total of $133.40. And that's why you shouldn't work strange jobs for the week. Now, please subscribe and hopefully someday I can actually earn some money.